Well, we've got a great mindset right now. I mean, we've had a lot of success in the month of February, and really, if you want to look back to that Saturday game in Michigan Tech, and uh, we're, we're, we've been we've been playing uh, extremely hard. I think we've had good detail to our game. Um, we've our goals against in the last ten games, our five on five defense has been awful good. So. Um, we like where we're at right now, and I'm sure Matt Cato likes where they're at, too. I mean, both teams are, are playing pretty good hockey, and uh, it's just fun to play in games like this. And uh, it's going to be great for the league. It's great for the community, and uh, it's, it's going to be exciting hockey this weekend. Uh, you know, you, you talked about just how well you guys have been playing since that Michigan Tech series. And I'd imagine with the – you'd have a lot of confidence and then to be able to stay in the moment with so much on the line. Just, you know, just talk about that process for those two. Well, again, you you want to stay in the moment. That's a good point right there, Jared. You want to stay in the moment. And obviously, again, all you can worry about is the task at hand. The task at hand is Friday. So, um, again, if we could bottle a lot of our, you know, our February efforts, that's going to be great. But, again, Mankato's going to have something to say about it too. But at the end of the day, um, again, both teams are playing very good hockey. And uh, it's just it's exciting to have, you know, the last two games of the year, you know, be important games like this. The excitement, not just for you guys as players and coaches, but for the community, the excitement to have this opportunity in front of you to do it here at home. <laughs> well, again, at the, at the end of the day, these games, like what we do, I, we, we talked about this at our, you know, in our meeting on Monday. Um, like these games really aren't for us. We're playing the games, you know, we're on the bench, but this is all about the community. It's all about the fans. It's all about the alumni. Um, it's it's obviously something that they can embrace, and you know that's why you get tickets. And um, you know, our obviously we're at home, so again, it's, it's exciting for our people. But obviously, the people in Mankato, we've been on the other side where we we've been in Mankato at the end of the year too. Everybody's watching, you know, they're scoreboard watching, or they're watching on Flow, um, or they make the trek up from uh, Mankato. But it's just it's exciting for everybody right here. And again, it's not about again the players, it's not about the coaches, it's about everybody else. And and uh, you know, they're, they're, they're part of, a, a, you know, an important series, an important game, you know, however you want to look at it. So um, that's, to me, what makes things that you probably, you know, the most gratifying is that people are going to be able to really watch some great hockey. And um, we're playing for a trophy this weekend. Coach, I, I watched the game. But it looked like it was an absolute electric atmosphere down at St. Thomas. And the expectations will probably be the same thing here again. Uh, is that something that you have to talk to the players about? about the atmosphere and the, the people you see the, the level of play go up when the atmosphere is like that? No, we don't talk about it. You don't even bring it up. I and mean, that all take care of itself. I mean, we, we just got to prepare the way we prepare. We prepare the same way every week and uh, every year. It's the same thing. So it's kind of like Groundhog Day. Our Mondays are our Mondays. Our Tuesdays are our Tuesdays. Our Wednesdays are our Wednesdays. Our Thursdays are our Thursdays. So um, and the, the games right now are going to – you know what the game, the games are going to bring out a, a high level, you know, of compete for both teams. But again, obviously, again having a lot of fans in the stands, you know, obviously that's like the cherry on top right there. But no, you don't talk about it. The guys, you know, the the guys the guys know what to expect. Yeah, Well, it is hard. It's a hard trophy to win. Marathons are hard. And this is what the regular season is. The regular season is a marathon. You know, the playoffs are a sprint. Totally different. Totally different dynamics. Because during a regular season, there's a lot of there, – there, there's just a – there's a lot of different games, and there's there's times during the season where you're playing extremely well. There's times where you're not playing well at all. You're trying to figure out who you are, and there's times it's 50-50. So there's a lot of emotions, and there's a lot of things that go into a season. Um, again, again, your level of play, injuries. There's just so many different things that go into it. So, uh, no, it is. It's hard winning championships. And, uh, you know, to put things in perspective, I actually told the guys, you know, the, you look at the University of Wisconsin, such a rich tradition of hockey. They've won more national championships than they have McNaughton Cups. You know, it's pretty interesting when you when you look at things like that. So, um, it's a hard, you know, tr regular season trophies are hard to win. And Mankato's had the, you know what, you know what, they've been the keepers of this trophy for many years. So, it just tells you again what kind of program they have, what kind of teams they've had. So, um, that's a testament to, to, to Mankato as well.
Um, obviously, the games, you know, have a little bit more on the line, but we're just trying to treat them the same. Um, obviously, like I said, big games for us, and we just want to play the way we can. Uh, you know, the second half for you guys has been, been really good. Right? Uh, seven game point streak, all that first place. That hasn't necessarily been the case in years before. You know, what's been the biggest difference in this second half compared to years past where you've been? Um, well, I think we just try and play true to our identity, and we've been doing a really good job of it. Um, I guess you could say getting some puck luck and things like that. Things are just kind of going our way, and we're getting those bounces, kind of. But, um, yeah, just trying to play beaver hockey and stick to our identity, and it's been working out for us. Uh, how important is it for you guys to stay in the moment this week and not get too far ahead of yourselves or, or anything like that? Uh, just staying even keel, um, taking it one period at a time, one shift at a time, when your shift, things like that. And, um, yeah, just try and uh, stay even keel. And, and just talk about the- yeah, we're really excited for the community. We're hoping you know everybody's as excited as we are. Um, and we're just going to try and put our best foot forward and win it for them.